weirdlings, how are you doing today? My name is Sammy and I'm here to talk to you about a part two of a series that I started last week called Physical Comic Books versus Digital Comic Books. I'm not sure why I made the digital sound so sneaky and scary, but we'll just, we'll, anyway. So let's see what the digital side has to say first. Allison uses Comixology for her Kindle, and I'm assuming that's one of the new fancy smancy Kindles because my parents got me a Kindle for a graduation present, and uh, it, it can't do anything, really. Uh, but anyway, uh, so she uses the, the Comixology app for a Kindle, and she says that it is really helpful when you're doing panel-to-panel -panel view uh, when you're reading the comics to not look ahead. It kind of prevents you from spoiling it for yourself. And I 100% can relate to that because I'm always spoiling things for myself and I'm always very sad. Uh, so the digital comics definitely help with that. So that's a good point, Allison. Thank you. Eric really knows what's up because he knows that never leaving your house is a pretty big pro. Like a huge one. Like a massive, massive pro. Leah, yes! That is such a good point that the first appearances and really old books are so much cheaper and easier to find in digital format. That is an absolutely perfect point for the digital side. Alice brings up Marvel Unlimited and I totally agree. Why is there no DC Comics equivalent to that? I mean, I mean seriously, we're living in the 21st century. Where, where, what's going on DC? What you doing? But she also goes on to point out there, there really is not a comparison to lending someone you love a book you love. And that makes me sad. So maybe we should go over to the physical side, to the physical comics side for, okay. Eli, you make a really good point when you talked about collecting because honestly, it's not really that impressive to brag to your friends about your collection when, you know, it, it, it's about uh, it, it's about this size. <laughs> so uh, definitely the collection aspect of it is completely different and much more important when you're uh, talking about physical books. But I have some beef with something you said. You said the pages are more beautiful in the physical copies. Is that actually true? I might have to fight you on that uh, because sometimes in digital, the colors really glow and are very clear and very crisp. Um, and you know what? I could actually argue that some of them are even better than the physical copies. So we might have to fight on that a little bit. Glenn wants to keep the poop inside their body so they will continue supporting comic books, which I entirely understand uh, in one sense. In another sense, I'm not, not really seeing the poop connection, but, um, but yeah. Either way, good job, Glenn. Keep keep your bodily functions together. I thought you might have something to say about that one. Oh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> that was a good one. Fair Lady talks about how comics at this present time is still kind of adapting to the thought of e-readers. So there might be certain uh, panels or comics where it doesn't actually look or feel exactly right because it's not really made to go through that guided view that digital comics can sometimes do. Um, I don't know if that's true. I, I'm, I'm asking you, audience at large, do you have trouble with uh, reading word balloons sometimes because you feel like they're in a weird place? I have not experienced that personally. I mean, maybe I have and I just don't realize it, um, but I think that comics are really, really starting to realize how much of an impact digital comics can have. So I think a lot of artists and creators are, are taking that into account. Um, but they're sure, um, you're probably right, there are probably some comics that uh, are not quite up to date with that. All right, so my friend Agro kind of pulled on my heartstrings a little bit and talked about how they really want to support their local shop because of the, the specific employees that are working there. And I totally understand that. Like, listen, I love shopping local and I really know what those types of connections can mean. So it makes complete sense what you're saying. And then we have this lovely friend that says they have enough love in their heart for both. Oh. So nice. I mean, I totally, I'm right there with you. I usually buy uh, single issues digitally and then the actual trade paperbacks, uh, physical copies. So I'm right there with you. And, and maybe we would all get along a little better if we realized we have enough love in our hearts for both. There really can't be a winner here because there's people like Nick V who have to go digital because there is no physical location that is actually a viable option for them. And we really shouldn't shame him for his digital preferences. Like, honestly, we're all on the same team. Like, we're all reading comic books. That's all that matters, right? Thank you everyone for your lovely comments. I really enjoyed reading them and I hope you enjoyed listening to your fellow weirdlings uh, thoughts on this subject as well. It's kind of fun. Have a lovely day, weirdlings, and I will see you next Wednesday for another video. Bye!